fantastic to see the uh, quality of the work that the, the winners have done. Um, first of all, 888 competitors just coming down to 40 winners and then just seeing what they'd actually done and seeing the exhibition. I was really, really impressed. I was impressed by the quality of the ideas. I was impressed by the, uh, the, the uh, inspiration, the creativity. And I was impressed by the, uh, the entrepreneurial spirit which they, they, the, the, these young people were showing. I think this kind of event is a very important to make it out loud. So everybody should know this event. Because this event, especially for the young generation, it is very important and it can create optimism. This is exactly my dream. My dream is to create a lot of young generation that can change this country to the right direction. I was so surprised because uh, some of the young generation that join in this activity is actually coming, you know, uh, to be in our group before. So, well, this is exactly what we believe and the dream is coming to Because what vision and mission that we share with them is really lead them to the right direction in their life. I think, it's, I think it's a fantastic event. I think it's wonderful to see all of these uh, young people who are over here having a good time. Uh, it's wonderful to see them uh, getting together, sharing ideas, and really coming up with some fantastic um, eco-concepts that they might well be able to take forward to commercial fruition. It's really nice to see young people coming up with fresh ideas. We're giving them support. British Council are giving them support. They're listening to us. And I think a lot of these ideas um, really can make it in, uh, uh, through to commercial fruition and can be successful. I wish them all the best. From that uh, event, we can gather a lot of initiative, real initiative in the field, and it become better because the one who doing it actually young generation. And I feel personally inspired by a lot of simple project here, yeah, from the doll that made from uh, socks or ornament from uh, Thai. I think. Actually, you know, if we can uh, go beyond beyond our daily life, we can do uh, something for the community. Ji Hong from Korea, and what he has done, he's taken something which is very common in everyday life, and which most people use once, and throw away, and then he's used his imagination to create something useful for people, which is where you can use it for a book, or for a plate, or for some sort of display. And I think. What's, what's really interesting about this two things, one is that um, young people, given the chance, can be very creative about what's in our environment. I think there's a lot of optimism there and, uh, and I think events like this, it's producing a, a generation, if you like, of people or a, a, a group of people who can actually implement projects on the ground and, and help to ensure that, that this moves forward. And there are ways you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and you can generate a sustainable economy that aren't expensive at the start. What you have to do is just set up the right mechanisms, the right financial incentives, and you need people with innovative ideas to try and set the projects in place. So every individual has a lot of power, and uh, please use that power, and if we work together, then I think we can achieve a lot. I told them, focus, and then target your dream. Be persistent, consistent, and you have to have very big endurance. So what you want is not only a dream, this will become true. Well, I think there are three things we need to do. One, we have to work with the winners to make their ideas a reality. And that's something that we'll do with LRQA. I think the second thing is we want to build on the network that these people are making. And just look around us tonight. You know, everybody's talking to everybody else. They're so excited about the opportunity of, of meeting each other and having new ideas. And thirdly, we have to ask the question, how do we take this idea of e-idea to a wider pu uh, public, to perhaps to other parts of the world and build a wider network? Um, I think uh, you need to have, you need to get in contact with, with other people. You need good advice on how to make a, a practical reality of some of these. And that's something which I think LRQA can help with. You need to get in contact with commercial companies. Uh, and you need to actually have the, the intention of going from idea and prototype to something which is practical and useful and workable on the ground. Somebody.